Working a little bit of the movement, we're just going to make a little bit uh, of a gripping exercise, okay? Just to get a little bit warm, a little bit of movement. So all I'm going to do, I, I do this all the time when I have a younger group. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to look to touch on the point on his shoulders, okay? My, my partner is going to defend, keeping the hands up. He can make some movement, not away, not, uh, not down here, but he can move, of course, to the side here and defend just like this. Yeah. My aim is just to move the hands, just be, just be nice and quick, and touch the shoulders. Just moving around, okay? Not too crazy, just nice and relaxed. We, I also used to always make uh, the, next, the next part. It's not so relevant now because there's no, you can't grab the leg. But the next part was always if you've got high, you can also touch the knee. Okay? And to defend, for touching the knee is a little bit different. So, if my partner goes to touch the knee, when I make this, here, I give away this here. Okay? So the next part was always, if my partner goes to the knee, is you looking for the shoulder. Okay? Not to look down here, because then here yeah, it's open. So always for the shoulder to not down. Okay? So as your partner will come, you move up with this. Sit here. Still, up high. Looking here, looking here. Okay? So this time, of course, the partner can come shoulders and leg. Shoulders and leg. And you're still looking just to defend, move here. Changing your angle. Okay, the shoulders away. So the movement, very, the movement, very important. Now let me, I put it a little bit more judo specific. Okay, this time we're going to try and make the same exercise. So, of course, as my partner goes to throw, say my partner goes to throw here. Okay, and I'm moving. Okay, when I move here, and I move to this side, now it's difficult for my partner to come back with the group, yeah? If I start to move this way, ah, okay? So, if my partner comes here, and I'm moving this way, I have the sleeve inside the way, okay? It's the same when my partner comes this way. When I move here, inside, you can see how. If it becomes difficult then, I need to come with the other group. You know, we're moving around, we change the angle of the body, and now we're on the outside of the partner and not in this danger zone or the partner can move. Okay, so this time, every time your partner throws the hand, every time your partner throws the hand, you look to the through, down, just to the outside of your partner, always to this side. For me, I was left, left hand at least on the left. So of course, my gripping would be here, 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 for my finger point. Okay. So of course, when I come around here, if I have the sleeve, I feel safe, now I can start to go. The same if they were right-handed, and I would move around, take here, here, if I can get to there, here, now I'm safe. I can start to go, pound, pound. Yeah. So we just want to move and change the angle always to the outside of the partner. Wow. Yeah? Okay, just a movement exercise today. Slight movements, small changes of the angle. The angle of our body. With the kumakata. Okay? Just to get around the partner, change the angle, make it difficult for them. Okay? But we have to maintain our stance, our gripping pattern, our grips. So if we're left-handed, we maintain that stance or that feeling for left-hander. If we are right, we're maintaining our right, okay? So, for example, I'm left. My partner, if they're coming out with his left arm, okay? Of course, I want to block. I don't want this here, okay? So, of course, I'm blocking. I'm just changing my angle and moving around, yeah? I have the sleeve, I have the sleeve like I would here. Okay. 
it's like moving around. I'm taking this thing down. Now, I will take my left grip. I can take it, no problem. Okay? And if my partner is right against left, I still maintain my left stance. But maybe I'm just going to change the angle around here. And now I'm closing his arm. Yeah? But I'm, I've just changed my angle a little bit. Yeah. For my grip in. <coughs> yeah. Now I can start to work to get this sleeve. Okay? So all we're looking at is the way that we change our, our position. Just to make it difficult for your partner's grip in. Just a little bit movement, just a little movement exercise. Yeah? And my movement isn't a big movement. All I'm doing is... Yeah. Yeah. The same. Yeah. No big movement. Just a small step. Okay. So take it back to the shoulders. When when they're touching the shoulders, it's the same. They touch my shoulder. They just move around. Move around, okay? And move around. Yeah. If you want to touch this one, if my partner wants to touch, it's difficult now. So just the building for, for when we when we work with young kids to get them moving, to thinking about how they can stop their partner. Yeah? So this game is to always play, touch the shoulders, think about the movement. Think about the kumakata. Push the shoulders. Push the shoulders. Yeah. Push the shoulders. Make the grip. Yeah. Okay. This time, just move in, make your grip, and have a little bit uh, relaxed play. Only play. Just with your grips. Play, play, play. Then move on after this one. Play with the grip. Let's go.